if I don't feel welcomed with open arms, as opposed to being uh, rejected straight away or being told that my lifestyle or way of life is, is wrong and against the morals of God, I don't understand it. And as a gay man, who do I belong to or with? It makes you kind of think, well, is there a God? Do I need, do, does it involve me? The pilgrim's journey is over, but as they prepare to leave the city, they receive extraordinary news. They've been granted a private audience with the head of the Roman Catholic Church, Pope Francis. It's amazing that we have been given an opportunity to meet someone so powerful who has a lot of influence on a lot of people around the world. And originally, my, I would have said, no, no, I don't want to meet him, I don't want to see him. I don't agree with a lot of their policies and what they stand for. I thought, you know what, if there is a chance to actually say something and to find out what this particular pope is actually like. I personally don't particularly want to challenge him on anything. I just, having gone on this pilgrimage, which is a Roman Catholic pilgrimage as a Jewish person, I just love the fact that at the end I can meet the man who is at the top of the hierarchy of the Roman Catholic Church. And I just think for me, taking aside even the religious thing it just rounds everything off and you might find when you get into his presence it, he might answer almost what you're saying without even you having to ask the question do you know what i mean it's, I, I, no to be honest Leslie, because let me take it the wrong way i don't think anyone wanted to challenge him no i don't think there's anything wrong with no. asking a question no. and as you said greg you, there's a way you can ask a question without being offensive without being angry or adult and if I, in my full conscience, go somewhere and meet a man who is the head of an organization, which I have a major problem with in certain areas, I can't just go and smile and nod my head. That's what I think. <laughs> I can't wait to meet him now. <laughs> Stephen J. Amy. I'm an actress. I'm 72. I'm not saying that I've done before. You don't seem to be 72. I know, I don't. It felt like a 
pressure cooker of emotion. And then when Stephen asked his question, I just felt myself going a bit. He used an amazing phrase. He said, adjectives that are used to describe people are meaningless because every human has his own dignity. And that is what I lost him. And to be frank, his candid and honest response blew my mind. That's what I've been searching for for a long time. Um, yeah.